How's it going everyone? Sinister of the Gamer section bringing you another review, and today's game I'm covering is Bayonetta 3, and this is exclusive to the Nintendo Switch. Bayonetta returns and is up against a new threat that is neither angel or demon. Now she has to save the world, but the multiverse as well. Her best friend Jean joins the fray along with the mysterious katana wielding Viola. Bayonetta has new moves to take on this new enemy threat, but more importantly, can Viola be trusted? Platinum Games upped the ante in the visual department and it doesn't disappoint. Bayonetta herself has a new look unlike her last two appearances. Also her friends Jean, Rodan, and Luca sport new looks as well. Viola looks like a female version of Virgil. Could be a coincidence that the design was inspired by Dante's twin brother. The demon attacks against monsters is a kaiju battle that will make Godzilla blush. As for the rest of the game, the characters look decent and the environments look enormous especially during battle sequences. It's great that the game is not entirely set in one city because you have different locales like Tokyo for example. And finally the game performs at 60 frames per second. The cutscenes of Bayonetta 3 explain the events what's going on unlike the previous two games. You have new icons when she does her new combos but after fighting demons you get a finishing animation before moving on. The music is decent in some scenes. And Bayonetta herself has her usual animation taunting her enemies to enrage and to fight her. For those that played the last two games know what Bayonetta is all about. She has her lightning quick attacks that follow through with wicked weave attacks. Now she has new moves like for example she can call infernal demons while hanging in the background. She has her usual dodge move sets to slow down time to get in more combos. Jean doesn't get involved with doing stealth missions and Viola has her own combo move sets which separates her from Bayonetta. It's great for that variety break things up so the game doesn't get redundant. As I was playing this, the only thing I've noticed wrong is some of the background is not as detailed as the rest of the game. You know, but you know how sacrifices had to be made for this game to perform at a high frame rate. Some games like this weren't able to do high quality graphics along with smooth gameplay, but for Bayonetta 3 the experience is great overall. I gave Bayonetta 3 a 5 out of 5. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to drop us a like, subscribe, and follow us at the Gamer section.